Hi, this is uh, Jay Hawk Scott again, and I um, was going to start a little video series on how to control hair algae. Uh, what I'm looking at here is my little biocube, and uh, you can see I've got hair algae all over in here. It's pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to start the process of trying to remove this hair algae. There are a lot of different ways that people talk about removing hair algae and uh, um, we'll talk about some of those during this process. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you have to figure out is why um, you have hair algae, what's causing you to have hair algae and typically that's going to be because you have too much waste uh, in your tank and that waste leads to fo a higher phosphate level and that's what the hair algae feeds upon. So naturally the first thing you the thing you want to do is you want to remove those phosphates so you kind of starve out the hair algae. How do you do that? Well uh, there are a couple of different ways you can do that. You can do that with bio pellets. Uh, I won't be using bio pellets. I don't have a bio pellet reactor. Uh, you can do that using GFO. Um, I do have GFO. Um, uh, I also, you also can use a product called Chemi Pure. Uh, Chemi Pure um, is essentially kind of a mixture of carbon and uh, GFO. And uh, uh, I will probably use some of that. Uh, another thing you want to do is you want to manually try to clean, clean off some of the hair algae and uh, break it loose and, and then siphon that out of the tank. Uh, you can use water changes, frequent water changes, to kind of drop the, the phosphate level. So we're, we're going to probably try a lot of those things. There's also uh, what they call three days of darkness, where you essentially turn the lights off on the tank and make sure it doesn't get any light and kind of starve out the, uh, the uh, hair algae that way. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, to talk about a product that I also plan to use in this process and it's another Dr. Tim's product and if you've watched my series on cyanobacteria you saw that there was a Dr. Tim's product called Refresh that I used <coughs> to get rid of cyanobacteria well this time I'm going to use another product and it's called Waste Away now the Waste Away by itself will not solve my hair algae problem what the Waste Away will do is it will help to re help my protein skimmer to be more effective on removing waste from the system and by removing more waste from the system um, the hair algae doesn't have the same amount of uh, um, uh, nutrients for which to feed upon so uh, that's a, a good first start so I will start uh, medicating the tank with the Dr. Tim's waste away uh, I am going to perform a water change and during that water change I, may, I plan to make a point to try and clean the hair algae off of the rocks with a toothbrush and... and, and so um, that's where we're at and so I'll start that process and I will show you where we are at. So one of the things I forgot to mention before uh, was before I start the process of doing the water change and cleaning the rock and stuff is I want to check my phosphate level and I'm going to be using a HANA checker to check my phosphate level. So if you haven't ever used the HANA checkers they're really nice. Um, you get a more precise reading of what you've got. So let me do the process of checking my phosphate and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a Jayhawk Scott again, and I've got the top off of the uh, bio cube, and I've cleaned the glass a little bit already. Uh, probably needs a little bit more, but I'm getting ready to go inside and, and work on all the hair algae. You can see it's still all there. Um, now, the plan to start off with is I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to scrub the hair algae first um, with a toothbrush and get that off the rocks as best I can and and uh, clean up the tank and then and do a large water change and in the water change I plan to try to 
soak up as much of the hair algae that'll be floating around the tank as possible. So what I've got here is I've got um, I've got two maybe five gallon containers for water and then of course the siphon you gotta love the floor here in my daughter's room um, <laughs> and then in addition to that I've got my chemicals that I'm using and the first thing that I use, and I use this on a regular basis, is the Kimi Pure. Kimi Pure Elite, which I think is really just essentially a, a mix of carbon and GFO. And GFO is what uh, you use to um, remove the, the phosphates from the tank. Um, here's more GFO. Uh, this is from Bulk Resupply. This is what I use in my main tank. And what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and use one of the old Kimi Pure bags. I've added more GFO to that and, and I'm going to use that as well. Um, the, in addition to those, there's the, the waste away um, and I plan to start dosing that a little bit more after I get going. That's that Dr. Tim's waste away product and, um, and I'm going to put all of that in the tank in my media basket, my in tank media basket. And what I do, what I use this for is on the top I'll put a pre filter, and in the middle I'll probably put the GFO, and then down here on the bottom I'll probably put the Kimmy Pure Elite. This thing just slides in there, and this fits right in the back of, uh, uh, of the back of my, my bio cube. It works pretty well. Some people put uh, a little refugium in those things and stuff like that, but I just run the Kimi Pure in mine, so I'm going to start by uh, scrubbing the, the rocks to get rid of the, the hair algae and then, then I plan to do a large water change and, uh, and, and I'll test probably the phosphates here in a couple of days to see where we're at with the phosphates. So let me start with scrubbing the tank and the water change and, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I cleaned off the rocks and I did my big water change and as you can see I still got a lot of hair algae in there. Um, there are spots that are still pretty heavily covered in, in hair algae and it got to be so hard to see in there I didn't really know where I'd been, where I hadn't been and obviously there's a spot down here on the rock up front that I really missed. But So I will uh, we'll probably work on it again a little bit tomorrow night. Um, Tonight I'm, for tonight I'm going to let it go. One of the things I did discover is that after I scrubbed for a while, even though I tried to suck out most of the, the hair algae with the, the siphon, um, I, I really missed a lot. And as soon as I turned the pumps on, it looked like it was snowing in there. So and one thing that I found that was really helpful was just to use a regular net. And you can see down here in the bottom how much crap I got out of the net. So. Um, I think my plan will be to kind of use the toothbrush uh, on a daily basis or every other day uh, and scrub the rocks where I see spots and then try to just scoop them up with the net and, uh, and just see how it goes. Uh, I put the GFO in, I put the new Kemi Pure in, did the big water change and I'm going to add a little bit of waste away here, do a full dose of waste away uh, to try and see if that can't help as well uh, so we're gonna start with this and and see how it works and uh, I'll probably take some videos every couple of days on this to kind of show you how, how I'm progressing and but uh, we'll see how we do